Well, welcome to the next part of Lunar Dragon Song. After some level grinding and whatnot, I'm ready. I also decided to consult the walkthrough because I was trying to record order there and was reminded that yeah, I actually have to talk to someone in the next village. Which really annoys the crap out of me because I don't like to stop and talk to those guys if I don't have to. I'm also being reminded um, from the last round, I'm really going to have to stop and spend time buying equipment after this too, yay. There's nothing quite says I like this game when I have to stop and do a bunch of gag express work in order to advance. <sighs> so ridiculous how much punishment some of these enemies can take if you don't have the right, if you don't have your strong equipment on yet. So I'm probably going to try to avoid as many fights as possible this episode. Oh, when you get here, you got to talk to Saul, so you're going to want to find his house. Did I hear you right? You're going to the Blue Dragon Cave to meet the Blue Dragon? Well then, you'd better listen carefully to this. It said the Blue Dragon uses the power of three treasures to suppress and control the flow of water from a series of underground lakes in order to conceal himself. Which means, yeah, I can see you're digging me. If you want to meet with Old Bluey, it'd be reasonable to expect that you're going to have to take those three treasures out of play. It's always nice being... Alright, this game expects you to talk to just random people you don't have any real reason to talk to whenever you go to a new town or something. <coughs> Whoa. I should avoid quite a few fights there. Ah, uh, luck. I think I saw like every enemy in that area right there. Ooh. So this is the blue dragon cave? I think so. Finally, we're almost there. Hang on, Lucia. And the enemies in here take a lot of abuse, too. <laughs> I bet at least half of them are going to survive. At least. Now we're gonna take a whole bunch of damage. Aw oh, man, they put me to sleep? This is why your early target is always going to be nice.
That was tricky. Darn it, just barely didn't make it. This must be one of the treasures Saul talked about. Yes, yeah, one of the blue dragon treasures. Hold on, though. It's just a rock, some treasure, and this is meant to control the eruptions of the lake. So he said, all we can do is collect them all and see what happens. Ah, oh, man, trying to dodge back, let me into that one. Seriously. Thanks, that's a real good use of 30 points of MP. Okay. That's where we need to go. Oh my 
Get out of my way. <sighs> Barely managed to get out of that one. Darn it! <coughs> Ugh. I'm definitely gonna be drinking some more fluids after this. Then I'm gonna be watching a movie after I get done recording this and start getting it uploaded, so... Going to be watching um, the Great Rupert. We have a squirrel saving Christmas. At least I think that's what it's about. I haven't looked at the box in a little bit, so. I need to go here. Okay. Well, oh, something definitely changed. Great, we got all three treasures, which means now we can meet the blue dragon. Darn it. <coughs> of course, we have to get hit by these guys. Oh, assuming they don't put Gene to sleep, I'll just use the Dragon Wave at the end. Well, Inferno Attack, I guess, technically is his name here. This off finish all of them off. Darn it, the other one came up and hit me while I was... Think. Oh, it's a crab monster. Great. I could spend a copy of the bird card to replenish my MP. I really don't want to unless I'm level grinding right now. Which means I'll probably be heading back here later. Come on, Gabby, blow him away. Sweet lobster boy missed. And Crystal didn't get another attack off, so that was a higher chance to finish it. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Got a. 
game programming book or something down there. Keep stepping on it. Uh, now I'm gonna have to use up healing drops. Could use um the gloom wing. Let's face it, I don't really use MP spells after this, so assuming I can get through here without getting any more boss, into any more regular enemy fights, right? Aha. Oh wow, how pretty. I can't leave my eyes. Who would have thought a place like this could exist at the bottom of a cave? I almost feel nature breathing. What scale? It's just massive. Quite a moment. I can hear something. What is that? A waterfall? Quick, both of you, back. The blue dragon. I thought it might be you. I've been waiting for you to get here. Waiting for us? Wow, we're getting pretty famous, I guess. Flora, cut that out. Those are the rings of my brethren, are they not? They are. I have passed each of their trials. Indeed, we dragons are the embodiment of the magical power of the goddess Althena. This magical power has started to weaken, now is all I can do to maintain my consciousness. For even that finally vanishes, I had hoped to pass my abilities to one worthy of the title of Dragon Master. Now thanks to you, it looks like I will get that chance. You'll let me take the trial then? Of course. You've learned through Bao how to properly handle power and that respect such strength deserves. You have displayed the ability to see the truth in everything in this world, and you have stared down triumph in the face of true evil. And now finally I shall grant you wisdom. Wisdom? Yes, the final requirement of a Dragon Master. He who takes on the powers of a Dragon Master has the command of Black Magic. As I am sure you have been warned, Black Magic can be highly dangerous. Thus, a Dragon Master requires wisdom in order to use it correctly. Justice lies within wisdom. This is the final trial. Justice within wisdom. As you are the one who wishes to become the Dragon Master, you must take this trial alone. Are you ready? Then let us begin. Oh, alone, huh? Well, my first advice... Cards! Regret not having magic. Is that your best? The traditional will not win you many battles. What should I do? Think. You two there, help him if you'd like. What? Yes. Young one, I recognize within you the ability to judge all matters correctly. That is true wisdom. But as such wisdom progresses, you may lose your simple, pure heart and thus become capable of making a grave mistake. In other words, like Ignatius, you may pass this trial and receive great wisdom. But forget your purity and succumb to vanity or desire, and you'll end up turning that wisdom to evil. So what should you do? Think carefully, very carefully. Well then, again. It's no good. I don't know. What should I do? <coughs> Ugh, sorry. Jean, don't think too hard. Just simply take in what the blue dragon is saying. Simply take it in? 
You've got ears, right? Like you said, never forget your simple, pure heart. I see, that's it. That's the answer. Hey, Jean, no time to celebrate now. Here comes the blue dragon again. He's probably not going to be anywhere near as tough, either. I just ended up wasting cards on him, too. Oh, that's nice. Not really. First, I want to get a healing item out. Um... I don't even know if those count as enemies, but I'll find out. <coughs> this will either wipe those out or not. Sweet, they are enemies. And I can make this fight easier with the use of that Hellbar card from the last fight. So our sucks lots to be burning turns like that though. Ah, they're too fast this time. At this point, I want us to go for the attack and just say screw it. Wasted his time tacking one of those. I see. Seriously, Jean. This is why not being able to choose your target it's such BS. Finally, the orb's on my way. Probably almost dead now. Title ring. Ugh, sorry. Jean, isn't, isn't it? You fight well. I am impressed. It looks as though you have worked out what I have desired of you to. I have to be open what others have to say. A pure heart, always following the opinions of companions. Yes, that is it. Dragon Master must undertake the vile role of being responsible for both God's Athena's magical power and the protection of the world. This place has a great deal of power at their command. Thus, should Dragon Master stop caring for others and turn these powers to simply fulfilling their own desires, you can imagine what might happen. You only have to look at what Nice has become to begin to understand. Yes. Three heads are better than one. The presence of your trusted companions is what led you to this conclusion. No matter how great the power you obtain is, you must never forget to listen to others, do you understand? Hey, we really helped out, but it's not as if we'd ever let you forget about us. Well, that worked out too, but the final challenge still lies ahead. What do you mean? 
In order to become a true Dragon Master, it is necessary to defeat the current one. In other words, to defeat Ignitus. I know, but if that is what it's going to take to save Lucia, there's no stopping me. Now then, go. Once I, last of the dragons, loses my physical form, the barrier we have maintained around the Cathedral of Phoenix shall quickly begin to lose strength. Nice has probably been waiting for this chance to reawaken Goss Althena. Reawaken the Goss, you mean... Lucia will turn back into Goss Althena? What, she can do that? While dragons and the Dragmaster vow eternal loyalty to the Goss Althena, measures are in place to prevent that which Ignatius is now attempting. Therefore, even he cannot enter the Chamber of Rebirth located in the Cathedral of Althena. However, the barrier is now weakening, and Ignatius may have a chance to reawaken Goss Althena by gaining access to the Chamber. If he does so, then all will have been for naught. I can feel it, see it, as I fade. The bear fades with me. <coughs> and there, waiting impatiently, will means nothing. Ignitus! You have to hurry before it's too late. I could lose Lucia forever at this rate. Quick, back to Vile Castle to stop Ignitus. But we'll never make it back to the frontier in time. Not if the bear is already gone. Gian. Not giving up yet, neither are you. There has to be a way. There has to be it. I know it. Um, yeah, we can get an airship. Gotta go get my airship. Gonna need an airship. What sort of game is complete without an airship? I'm going the wrong way. I believe. Need to go the right way, because I got to get an airship. Uh, run around. Darn it. Manual. Um. Ugh. Man, my throat's really dry, I guess. Um, we're gonna slam him with this attack again. I'm really gonna be clearing this room out fast, because I really don't want to fight all of them. Oh, if you're asleep, you don't need experience? That's bull. I can't think of any other games that do that. I should just use her magic to escape the dungeon shouldn't have I <laughs> oops darn it ooh a gloom wing Don't care, still going this way. Ugh. This way, which means I might get hit by an enemy or two. Um, there we go. Um, ah, managed to outweave them. Good.
I've heard asked this, but is it true that the Vile Tribe has been attacking humans and beasts in towns and villages? I think we'll be safe here. Sir, our village may not have buildings like you cities. We do have the best tasting war in the world. Um, how about you? Nice, a Dragon Master turned tyrant. Gals, the thing is missing, and now that her Dragon Master has gone off on, th gone off the rails, it's going to happen to our world. Um, I need an airship. What are we going to do? We'll never get there in time. Don't give up. Let me tell you, there has to be a way to think. Well, we can't do anything here. Let's see what they have to say in Rubrick Village. So I have some useful information. I'm sure we'll find a way, Jean, so come on. We are up on on the news. Is it true that the ferry and non pace has started to run? If so, that means we can get to the Kalar and Rick continents, right? <coughs> Head right for the West Mill Rainforest and left for the East Mill Rainforest. Either way, you can't bet it's going to be raining. What? You love all this nature? Interesting. So you city dollars call this kind of place nature, do you? So, just let me run with this. That means cities that you live in could be called unnatural. I guess. You want to get technical. Well, you knew something before. Well, just as I told you, right? But you're glad you hooked up with the blue one. Anyway, now go do what you do. Have you heard of Krillis? He's an eccentric old guy who lives alone in the Tower of Krillis. They say he's got others jump from across the world and uses it to build crazy stuff. You gotta take any rare but useful, useless stuff you have off your hands. Rare but useless? Like what? Well, you best off to ask him yourself. Hey there, do you know of the Blue Dragon Cave? Yes. Really, that's a real shame. I'd want to talk to someone. I already beat the Blue Dragon. Can I now head over to the Tower of Chrysalis? Or do I have to leave from this gate? Hmm. Probably nothing I'd want anyway. No. Even more no. Do that one really when I get the airship. Um, <coughs> seriously, <sighs> I'm gonna have to come back here for those shoes. I'm sure she's got awesome armor I need to buy too. Um anyone in the IM shop I can talk to. Let's just see if I can leave and head over that way from here, maybe. Um just the pass right here, okay. Aren't too many enemies over here, are there? Um, let's see. Here we go. Oh yeah. If we want to talk to the guy. We're gonna have to go up this tower. This is gonna require puzzle solving and stuff too, somewhat. 
Um, I'm gonna call it quits here. Next time we head up to the tower to see about an airship. Till next time, see ya.